Do you know what would go great with this beer right now? Korean fried chicken. Oh look, there it is. Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Let's go make some more. Here's the recipe. It does come from Korea. I like this recipe because it's simple and I tweak the recipe by adding garlic for extra flavor. Even though the ingredients are pretty much minimal, the flavor does pack a lot of punch. This recipe will produce crispy chicken wings and a sweet and tangy sauce with a slight touch of heat. Now, with the vinegar, you can actually use regular vinegar or apple cider vinegar. I've used both and I cannot tell the difference. So use whatever you have. And if you don't feel like spending the money on apple cider vinegar, use the regular vinegar. All right, we're gonna prepare the chicken for frying. There's no need to marinate the chicken in advance. Some recipes do require some marination, but I think that's an unnecessary step. Just thoroughly coat the chicken wings with potato starch. One cup should be enough to coat about two pounds of wings. And when they're done, they should look like this. And they're ready to be fried. Heat the oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then start frying the chicken. You're gonna fry the chicken for five minutes. And while you're frying the chicken, make sure the chicken, chicken wings are not touching each other or sticking to the bottom. So stir them around occasionally. And after five minutes, just remove them and set them aside to let them cool. Uh, we will be frying these again in a little bit. But first, I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. So let's start making the sauce. Here I'm grating ginger and garlic. And the reason I'm grating and not mincing them or chopping them is because I want the garlic juice and I really want the, the ginger juice to really come out and grating will do that because I really want those juices as part of the sauce. Next, you're gonna add the soy sauce, then you add the, the vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar for this recipe. Like I said, white vinegar would work. And then add the honey. Just use the supermarket clover honey. You don't need anything fancy for this. Um, don't waste your money on using raw honey for this recipe. And then add the gochujang red, red chili paste. Now, if you want it to be spicier, at this point, you can also add some of those dried chili peppers, like dried Thai chili peppers to really amp up the spiciness level. So that's completely up to you. Add the brown sugar, add the ginger, and then add the garlic. Once that is done, turn on to heat to medium and start stirring the mixture together until it becomes nice and uniform. You're gonna see a lot of the ginger and the garlic float around. Don't worry, once the sauce starts to reduce, um, those bits and pieces are gonna sort of just disappear. So you're gonna stir stir this sauce for about 15 minutes over medium to medium low heat. Watch the heat, you might have to adjust it because you don't want the sauce to boil over. Um, be, you know, keep your eye on it, don't walk away from it. But after 15 minutes, it should look like this, a nice slow rolling boil. And once that's done, take it off the heat and then let it cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes and the sauce should coat the spoon. Now it's time to fry the chicken one more time. Make sure the heat is back up at 350 degrees and then fry the chicken for four minutes. You're not gonna fry them for five minutes, just four minutes to remove a bit of the extra moisture that's in the chicken. So it produces a really nice crispy and crunchy texture. After four minutes, remove them and place them on a paper towel to absorb any of the excess oil that will be dripping off of the chicken. After the frying, the chicken should have developed a nice golden crust like this picture here. All right, the chicken wings are done and so is the sauce. So let's put those two together. I started with a batch of 12 wings and a couple ladles of sauce to ensure even coverage. Now, the reason we had to reduce the sauce in, in the beginning is because we didn't want the sauce to be too thin, uh, so thin that it wouldn't stick on to the chicken. And we didn't want it to reduce the sauce for too long because sometimes it would be too thick 
which will make it very, very difficult to cook the chicken. So that 15 minutes is like the sweet spot for uh, reducing that quantity of sauce. So once everything's evenly coated, transfer them to the plate for serving. And that's it. Now, the great thing about this recipe and also double frying the chicken is that the chicken will still remain crispy even after it cools down to room temperature. And once this is done, you can start to garnish the chicken. Here I'm just using scallions, but you can also use sesame seeds if you want. Um, I'm not a big fan of sesame seeds because I don't like them being stuck into my teeth. And the scallions are just perfect for what I want in terms of a garnish. And that's it, a very simple recipe that gives you a crispy, sweet and tangy and spicy chicken wing. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Happy eating, and I will see you next video.